Hello, everyone. Hi. So you can actually see me today. Oh, and Madison. Madison's going to come running over. You can see Madison, too. Um, so I'm going to really try to look at you and not look at how I'm looking. So we're going to set this off to the side. But thanks for joining us. Today is our Craft Along TV. If this one does anything goofy, um, it's not my fault. So you hear that? It's just a lag. Oh, a lag? Oh, okay. So uh, what we're going to do today, well, first of all, I'm Becky. In case you didn't know already, Becky Dykes, Solo Life Inspiration Box. Um, we have a, a great monthly subscription that is perfect um, for what you're going through right now. But basically, we box up a whole bunch of goodies and send them to you every month. And this is one of my packing partners. She was a big help this month, and uh, I'm hoping she gets some school credit for that, so just have to uh, work that out with her teacher. But anyway, this month, the big thing, and hopefully I'm not spoiling this for anybody, but the big um, theme for this month is crafting with felt. Now, surprisingly, felt is not a medium that we have worked with in the box before because it's also not the easiest to work with. So what I'm going to show you today is um, a little sneak peek at our finished product. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Okay, so this is a felt flower, and then we have adhered it to a car vent clip from Craft Chameleon. Okay, so when I found out that Jamie was going to carry these, I was just so super excited. Um, I don't, I don't know why, but I love having pretty things in my car, but I also don't like having things that I have to keep up with because then I have to keep up with them. So <laughs> these are really neat because you can buy these and you can adhere pretty much anything to them. So even if you're not a fan of working with the felt, imagine all the different um, acrylics or anything that you could go put on this because I'll tell you why, even though I love crafting with the felt, you can see in here, you see this little thing right here? Okay, that is a little gap. So if you have a surface that you cannot apply scent to, you can actually put um, like a piece of scented, probably a piece of felt or um, a thicker piece of cotton or something along those lines of something because this is gonna clip into your car vent clip, right? And then when you turn on your AC or in some places when y'all turn on your heater, here in Florida, we're in full uh, AC season right now. So, but anyway, it will blow the scent of your choice throughout your whole car. So that's really fun, right? And what I love about felt is that the kids can join in. As long as you have kids who are of age that they can use a pair of scissors, um, you need a pair of scissors, you need a hot glue gun, and if you have them, a pair of tweezers. Okay, definitely makes these rolled flowers a lot easier. So I know what you're telling me, Becky, I've done rolled flowers before and I hate them. And I'm sorry to hear that, but I am right there with you. I did, um, well, I won't break it down now, but last May, seems like I do these about once a year because it takes me a year to forget how much I hate dealing with rolled flowers. Rolled flower, not 5,000 rolled flowers. So if you are not into the rolled flowers, that's okay because we have an even easier type of flower. It's a little pom-pom, okay? Now I keep talking about these in reference to these vent clips because that's what we're going to do. But we were actually, right before the video, we're talking about how cute this would be if I would have adhered a um, little alligator clip and I could have put it in my hair or put it in Madison's hair or a headband. Okay, so I mean, obviously there's tons of things that you can do with these, but first we have to talk and tackle how to cut felt, okay? So I just wanna say that um, I have my Cricut Maker here and um, there may have been a few witnesses to uh, a few choice words, but cutting felt, um, both when I tried again this month and when I've tried to do it in the past, I have not successfully been able to cut it on my machine. Now, let me say that there is a whole world of crafters out there that they have 
been able to cut the felt on their machine. I knew going into this that this was something that I struggled with and I tried a few new things and it didn't really work out, but um, I still wanted to introduce felt and I want to show you the way that it works for me. If you have any questions, I cannot see you right now. Actually, can I see you right now? Let me see. No, no, I'm not going to be able to see you right now, but that's okay. So, I will come back. Please ask your questions. I always say that on all of my lives. Ask any questions you want, and I will happily uh, ramble on for the next 20 minutes about the answer to your question. So that's kind of my thing. But what I want to show you is we're working with felt, okay? Felt, craft felt. And we are also, if you, as long as you got the box, you got the felt, you'll notice you got regular felt, and then you also got like this stiffer glitter felt. Um, I was hoping that with this being stiffer, it would cut better with the machine. Um, that is probably true if you have like a deep cut blade or a rotary blade or something like that. With the regular fine point blade or the regular uh, ratchet auto blade setup, um, that was not successful because this is too thick of a felt. Um, so if you can go to the craft store and find a medium between this felt and this felt, well, maybe you would have uh, better luck cutting it. So what I did and why I incorporated my um, cutting machine, let me show you, let me show you. I included in the box sheets of freezer paper. Now, if you're, if you're not a box subscriber, that's okay. I won't hold it against you. You can buy freezer paper almost anywhere. And I guarantee you that probably 75% of people have freezer paper in their house already. The good thing is that you can cut the freezer paper on your machine and you can use it for a whole ton of things. But what we're going to use it for is to cut the stencil for our, you want to hold this up for him? This is our rolled flower. Okay. So what I did is I cut a stencil. This is your job. Here you go. I cut a stencil. Okay. And this is, ideally, this is what I would have wanted to cut from my, um, felt right but i couldn't get it to cut multiple times so what i did because if you don't know this about freezer paper when you apply heat to freezer paper it will adhere to uh whatever type of material you're working with so for the felt i was able to just use my heat press and iron it in place so you easily go from all this madness over here to this prettiness here now i will say i was worried when i first did this that when i laid it down that, um, you know, it was going to be this big jumbled mess, but it really wasn't that hard. Just make sure when you lay it down, not this one, if you can see, maybe you can, maybe you can't, uh, 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 that's going to be a no, but you have a shiny side. That is the side that you want against your felt or fabric or whatever it is that you're working with, but for this project, that's what you want against your felt, okay? So literally, I laid it down on my felt, and then I took it over to my heat press, pressed it in place. Now this is the part that you're gonna hate me for, and this is why the rolled flower itself is difficult, because basically now this is to work as your stencil, okay? So you're going to cut everywhere that the freezer paper is. All right, so if I were going to do that in the way that I did it, I trimmed off all the excess, what is this again? Felt, yes, all the excess felt. Okay, now this one's pink, but you know, you can use any color of felt that you like. Okay, and then something really neat happens here. You want to hold on to this? Okay, because I have this magic drawer. Instead of you having to watch me do this, I just put all my ingredients in here and look, it comes out already done. Yay! So this took me probably prepare for four or five minutes and this, this probably sounds weird, but depending on how you have the file set up, your cutting will be easier or harder because when you put it down, you have to, if you're right-handed or left-handed, you know, you will trim along a certain way. Well, if, if I'm trying to cut on the inside, okay? So the reason I say that is because if you find yourself really struggling to make that, that cut, you can also, and I did it myself today, you can hold up the felt against like a lighted surface, just a, a daylight somewhere near a window, and you can see the shadow and you can cut that way too. But uh, the, my file, um, I did go in and switch it around to make it 
easier for um, right-handed people. So if you're left-handed, swap it back. Okay. And then also, so we did our flower, right? Um, this is that green felt, and you can see this is where we applied the freezer paper, and then we cut it out with the scissors. Now, when you're done, where, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, okay, excuse me. Sorry, sorry. Evidently, uh, you know, she needs a break. I'm overwhelming her. That's fine. But basically, what you're going to do once you've done, once you finish with your cutting, you just peel off. This one's a little bit more difficult. I mean, not difficult. That It's not difficult at all, but... You just have to peel around the edges first. It peels right off. Throw that away. You're not going to save that for any reason. And then you'll do the same thing here. Just get a little edge of it. So, um, you know, if you're stuck at home with what feels like 23 children, uh, I know my three definitely turn into 23 children every day. You can iron this on, and if they um, want to be or um, or you feel like punishing them, you can turn them loose and make them cut your rolled flowers. You wanna finish this for me? Sure. You're just gonna pull it apart, okay? Okay, so now let's talk about my flowers. So I have, here, I'll cut this one real quick. Um, I have two that are already done. We're going to do another one right now, uh, just the rolled variety, that way you can see. Now I use the same technique even when I roll um, paper flowers and it just helps to make it easier but obviously the felt flowers have more substance okay so I um, now this green felt that is in your box it is stiff enough that you don't actually need to to serve as your backing um, but if you like the look you know, then it only takes a few extra steps and you definitely have plenty of green in there to do as many leaves as you want. Thank you, ma'am, I appreciate that. Okay, there we go. So then I'll just do the same thing with this one. Pull off. Okay, so what I mean by two layers is I could take this and I could put my flower right on top and it would be fine. But I like using this as the base because it is that stiffer um, type of felt. But I kind of got addicted to the two, the two leaf thing here. So you see that's what I have going on here. Okay, and I just felt like it added a little bit more character whereas only doing one was a little plain. So what we're going to do, I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue. Now, remember, the box does not come with hot glue. I don't want to mislead anybody. So, um, you know, that is something that we, we, we always expect you to have, like, the crafting staples. Okay. So, put that down. Get rid of our scraps. And here comes the fun part. Tweezers. Now, Madison can tell you. Madison, do you want to tell them about these little bottles and how we had to put them together? Because it was crazy, wasn't it? Yes, we had to do a lot of them. It, yes, it was definitely a lot of bottles. And when they came in the mail, so so what I did, I'm sorry, I don't know if you can see me or not um, all the way down there, but I just pinched the middle, okay? And this is the middle of your flower. So I'm just going to start rolling, and I'm going to hold the felt in line. But as I'm rolling my tweezers, it really just wraps around itself. You want to keep it, um, I don't want to say super tight, but keep it a little tight just so that that way as you're rolling, um, you know, you don't, you don't get all this craziness. But go ahead. So the bottles came in four pieces, okay? And the, we had to put the essential oil in there too, didn't we? Mm -hmm. So we had to um, get the bottle, then, then we had to grab um, one of these. So we had to grab the bottle, then... The gray part, which I don't know what it's called. Um, mm -hmm. The but, silver part, the lid? Yeah. And then we had to um, get the part where you squeeze, and then we had to get the little straw type thing. Yeah. Um, so, so then we um, get, got the bottle. Wait, well, we filled it with the essential oil. Then we, for, then to put the um, caps together, um, so we grabbed the white part and then the gray part and including the straw thing <laughs> and then wait so we 
grab the white thing, and then we got grab the um. Yeah, we pulled. We had to pull it through the the lid, and then we had to attach the little dropper in there. So that was one of our fun adventures that we did together um, this week. All right. So with that story, this is my flower. Okay. You noticed I just peeled it back when I was done. Put a little bit of hot glue right there. Right. This is already glued together, and it really is just as simple as it seems. You're gonna apply some hot glue. You wanna do this part? You wanna put that together? The glue's on the bottom, just put it down wherever you want it to be. Okay. Yep, give it a push. All right, good job. So you can tell, now these were the same file. Okay, but you can tell how much bigger my pink one is. I rolled this one probably tighter than necessary. So I went a little looser on this one. So that way you can kind of um, pull out a little bit on the petals. Okay, and then do you want to do the honors? Yes, please. Now let me say this. We tested, well, let's see. This is roughly, give or take, four milliliters of oil it is but what was the name of it do you remember citrus blast or citrus blossom or i'll put the link in the tutorial for you it, it's um a really it's very citrusy it's actually heavier on the lemon and orange which i mean totally makes sense because that's citrus right but i'm just letting you know um so you know put on this one, and we tested out um, earlier today in the car, just so that I could tell you. You want to go ahead and put some drops on there? Mm -hmm. This one had like 17 drops. And when we went in the car, it was nice, but it was not overwhelming. So don't feel like you have to restrict yourself to one to two drops. But if you're using a different brand of essential oil or any type of fragrance that you're going to put on here, um, you know, I would start out less is more. Try it out in the car, come back and get more if you need to. Um, Cause I could just see that going very wrong where you end up with a car that smell, okay. you know, is full of, of the smell. Okay. So now we have a flower and we've already put our essential. essential oils on there. Okay. Next. Oh, just to let y'all know, me and my brother bagged those up. Yes, yes. We had to get creative with the prepping, um, you know, but I may or may not have used some child labor. That's okay. They got paid, right? Well, they will get paid. I, I haven't actually dished out. Anyway, y'all don't care about that. We won't, we won't talk about me breaking the law. So, you have one part here. That's your clip, right? In theory, I could stick this straight on, but I don't want to do that. This is the other half, and it has the tray right here and you can find out which side and it literally just slides right on in boom there we go all right do this one more time you want to do this too all right flower just be careful that glue's hot in the middle Right in the middle, right there okay. in the middle. Perfect, looks great. Push. <laughs> awesome, okay. awesome. Okay, so now I have two of these bad boys, and if I wanted to, uh, how much time do I have left? Oh, I've got 10 minutes, I've got 10 minutes, I'm great. Okay, so let's talk about your cut settings, because I know you're probably yelling at me right now. Cricut Design Space has a preset for you um, to cut your freezer paper. If you go into the, uh, like where you would select a custom material type and type in freezer, it literally pops right up there, freezer paper, and the settings work great. Um, when I cut this on my Cameo 3, then I used, I kind of cheated a little bit, I used the copy paper setting because it has about the same consistency. Um, so that's something else that you can do. Okay, um, so the copy paper setting and for the Cricut, it was the freezer paper setting. You could probably use copy paper too, but I was just interested to find that Cricut actually had a freezer paper setting in there already. That was really cool. Okay, so another project, you have to, just bear with us here. We worked on another project today. 
Miss Madison, in all of her goodness, um, created her own pom poms. And just to show you that we don't like to waste around here, these are, let me show them. You know when you send out poly mailers, okay? Um, and you have to pull off that strip that covers up the adhesive. This is what they are. So everybody that got a box this month, your poly mailer strips have been put to good use. And we are going to save the earth one tree at a time. So, or one uh, plastic strip at a time. Okay, well, um, that is all I have. Do you, can you think of anything else that we need to talk about? Uh, yes, no, maybe stay, so. Stay careful. Stay home and stay safe, right? Yeah. High five. <laughs> okay, I am going to check and see somehow. Oh, that's what my iPad was for. I'm gonna check and see if you guys have any questions because I do not want to run over on my time. I'm actually an Android girl, so I'm a little um, Apple illiterate right now. Let's see. Silhouette Life Inspiration Box. Drum roll, please. Drum roll, oh, oh, are you gonna show us your pom-pom? Uh... <laughs> Here we go. Okay. I do not see any comments. Now, shame on you guys. I need to see some comments. I'm just kidding. If you don't have any questions, that's completely fine. I just like to check before the end of the live. And I know there's a little bit of a delay. So I will um, check back after and throughout the evening and probably a couple of days from now. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to, um, to post, uh, or you can join the group and you can ask questions there. If you're a current box subscriber, I promise, don't hate me, I promise, the tutorials are right around the corner. Just, you know, me and my 23 kids at home, that, that's just what You happens. don't have 23. I do not have 23 kids, thank goodness, because, uh, he, he, whoa, don't, whoa. He, he only has three. I do, I do, we have three children. Okay, um, all right, let's pose. You want to hold this one since you made it? And sniff it. And sniff it. And sniff it. Okay. Can you say bye to everybody? Bye. Bye. Thanks for joining in. Stay Don't safe. forget, Jamie is coming up next. Jamie from Craft Chameleon. And she has some really cool stuff for you, too. And you want to hold one? Oh, yes. I would love to hold one. Thank you. All right. And what do, what do we say? Stay safe and stay at home. That's right. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.